the injury suffered by this man crushed uh, both the side and the front of the head inwards, causing a number of fractures that radiated throughout the skull. It also, the blow on the side of the head actually pushed the maxilla, the, the lower part of the face sideways, and in doing so, it broke his neck. So I am sure the second blow killed him. So Nataruk today is a barren area of semi-desert and yet 10,000 years ago it was the edge of a lagoon full of animals which obviously also attracted hunter-gatherers. So when we came to work in this part of, of Kenya we were and we still are looking for much older fossils. So I never expected to find the remains of a massacre or the earliest massacre recorded in history. At the site of Nataruk, we, we found a total of 27 individuals, but most of these were fragmentary. There were 12 skeletons that were still articulated in the ground, some better preserved than others. And of those, 10 had evidence of having died violently. So among these, four uh, have injuries that are consistent with projectiles, pr presumably bows and arrows. Another four skeletons have blows to the head, and this would have been done with a blunt instrument, a weapon like a club. And then there are some individuals that show fractures to the knees, to the hands, to the ribs, all consistent with a pattern of conflict wounds. Among the most unusual finds, one was this young lady who was found sitting and she had her hands crossed in a very peculiar position and, and they may suggest that she was bound at the time of death. Uh, and we found in her belly the remains of a, a, a fetus that was near term. We also have the remains of six very young children uh, uh, under the age of six. And these were found next to the women. My interpretation is that this was a small community, a foraging party, and that they were surprised by an attack and they died, some of them, directly perhaps into the shallow waters and they were covered by water and silts and the bodies preserved. These people were massacred and my guess is that there was nobody left around to bury them, so they lay where they fell.